Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikari from Excel Basement. In this video tutorial, we will learn that how to append data from a specific folder which contains uh, Excel files but on different formats. So let's get start. Let's say I have created a folder in my drive and uh, this folder has four different Excel workbooks uh, on a monthly basis. Now in your scenario, it could be on a weekly basis or daily basis. Uh, the logic will remain the same. So let's say a user extract some data from an ERP software and he has uh, extracted in a form of Excel file. So uh, technically uh, these are Excel files but in a different uh, extension format. So if you can see the LSX and CSV. Okay. Now let's say if we want to append the data from all these Excel workbooks together into the Power BI, uh, how are we going to do that? And the Power Query is available in Microsoft Excel as well. So if you are uh, working with BI tools within the Excel, the steps will remain the same. And if you are a user of Power BI, eventually the Power Query is available there. So uh, the interface is same, right? So let's do and append the data now. So if I open all these uh, files, so if, if we technically look at the data inside these Excel workbooks, so to, for the month of January, if you can see here, this is the file of January 2023, and we have some columns, okay? So code, name, father name, CNIC, right? And so on. And uh, if we compare this particular data set with the February, so if you can look at the difference in the month of January, we have the gross salary, which is the last column of, of the data, right? But if you go to the February, the gross salary is coming at the fourth uh, column and CNIC is the last column. Now it could be happen. Uh, I mean, up to some, so for some kind of a reason, but uh, the sequence is not similar uh, in each of the file. And in eventually it could be happen that the numbers of columns could be less or as less or more uh, when we compare different files. So let's say if we go to March. So if you can see the March in the March, uh, we have gross salary is the second last column. And that's a CSV file. So this is not technically converted into a table format, right? So it's just a CSV file and CNIC number at the fourth column. Uh, whereas if we look at the April one, so we have an additional column of age, which is technically not available in the month of Jan, Fab and March. It's, it's just in April, right? So we have created a complex scenario where you can see the sequence of columns are not similar as compared to different files. The extensions are different as well as uh, there are, there could be additional columns which are not available in, in uh, previous files as well, right? So how Power Query will handle all these situations and how to append data from uh, likewise from CSV and XLSX, right? All right, so let's get started into Power BI. So this is Power BI application. Okay, so let's go to transform data. All right, so the first step would be, I will just right click here. All right, so the first step would be, I will right click here. This will open up a menu, new query, and then we will go to more. So that will open up get data dialog window, right? Or you can just click on new source and then you can click on more from here as well. Both are same options. Okay. All right. So we will select folder and click on connect and path. click OK. All right. So as you can see the metadata here, uh, which tells you that what inside that folder is. So we have four different uh, Excel files, two are in CSV and two are in Excel format, right? So let's say combine and transform data. All right, so from here we will select uh, that the first CSV file uh, that is technically here uh, for the month of April or either you can select uh, the other one that is for the March. So let's go with the first file, which is this in the CSV format, as you can see here, that's the preview, right? Click OK. Now what happens is uh, it gives you uh, the data of uh, March from the CSV file as well as Jan and Fab 
is not coming because that is in different format and we will handle this issue what we're going to do is we will go to the applied steps and click on source and from here we will open this drop down menu of extension column and here we will just check the csv and click ok that's it right so it filters all the extension with the csv now we will go to the last step that is change type and you can see here only the csv file has been appended and as i show you that uh, the columns were not uh, in a prop appropriate sequence and and also there were additional columns like age that was not available in different files so power query has smartly appended the data as comparing the all the column headers as you saw that gross salary was also not in a proper sequence but it's right there in this appending of data in power bi right so that's how uh, power query smartly handles if the sequence is not uh, correctly followed in in different files or there are few additional columns okay if you want to do some additions or editing in the data set you go to the data source because power query is not meant for editing the data source up to some extent you can replace the values or do different kind of transformations but if anything you want to add as in data source you have to open those files okay now two csv files has been appended now our work is to bring the excel ones and then we will doing the appending of csv excel together okay so i will go to this menu and uh, new source click on more now we'll select that folder click connect define the folder path click ok and this time we will say transform data so now we have the metadata and from the extension drop down we will select the dot xlsx okay all right we don't need these particular columns so let's select them and remove them we will be adding one additional column so add column custom column let's name this as data and let's write excel dot workbook uh, because this is power query so this is case sensitive make sure you write it correctly double click on the content field close the bracket click ok expand this drop down make sure that you uncheck use original column name as prefix all right so what we need is we need uh, the okay so from the kind column you have to select the table because all our data in a table format okay and now you will open the drop down menu of data dot one column where all your columns are there click ok now you have to decide which columns you need and which you want to delete so just select them and uh, right click remove columns let's remove these additional columns which we don't require and that's it right we have the name serial number code name to uh, likewise you also need to match uh, for the csv columns right we have source dot name so we will rename this as source dot name then we have serial number code this is name to not this is only just a name so we will rename this header make sure that you have proper match headers uh, in terms of csv and excel file okay um, now once you are confident that confident that uh, now once the headers are properly aligned for the csv in the excel what we're going to do is we will be appending as new so we will go to home tab append queries append as new okay so we will select these two appending of uh, queries add them click ok and that's it all your data has been appended successfully as you can see here uh, from the file of march which was csv uh, and april as well but jan and fab was dot xlsx right and once you are done with the appending you can see the sequence of uh, the columns are there properly uh, everything is perfect so now let's close and apply and we will see that what happens if the user 
next month extract the data from a software and just put that raw data file into a folder we are just required to refresh the data and it automatically append now it would be not a trouble uh, if the user puts a csv or excel file into a folder okay so let's close and apply okay so you can rename this table as uh, all data let's go to our data view this is the data for from four different files right now let's see if we put uh, next month may and june file that will be in excel and csv all right so what i did is i added a uh, june and month file that is june is in excel sx format and may in its csv format now what happens if i go to power bi home tab i just need to click refresh and let's wait here now we have uh, the june data is also get appended and we have for the month of may from the csv file as well so that's how you can handle if you have the excel files in csv and excel different formats you can append data all together and you can use it uh, once you create your dashboard thank you